Since her conviction for her actions in bombing the Jedi Temple, Beresafi hasn't been seen or heard from within the current canon. For the roughly five and a half years since the airing of the season 5 finale of The Clone Wars, fans have been left to speculate about what happened to the Jedi Padawan. Would she become an Inquisitor? Was she executed by the Republic for treason? Or was she executed as part of Order 66? As presented in a recent video here on the channel discussing some potential and likely stories we could see within the new episodes of The Clone Wars, I believe that the new season finally gives us an opportunity to see what Barriss' fate is. But this topic also deserves a bit more focus, specifically touching on why I believe it's likely that Barriss' story will be concluded as part of the final 12 episodes and what this scene likely could be. In this video expose, I will describe why the new Clone Wars episodes could and should provide us with an amazing conclusion to the story of Barisafi, continuing her arc as seen in the season 5 finale. As early as 2015, Dave Filoni, the supervising director of the Clone Wars, made it clear that Barris had a larger story that still needed to be told after her conviction for treason against the Republic and Jedi. In fact, Filoni changed his initial conception of the Season 5 finale, which would have seen Barriss be killed. Instead, understanding that Barriss' story hadn't yet been fully told, and recognizing the aspects that made the character interesting in a way that no other Jedi could emulate, Filoni revealed at Celebration Anaheim that he had a plan for Barriss after the events of Season 5, and despite the show's cancellation, he still did. In a further interview a full year prior in 2014, when explaining why Sidious would keep Jedi like Luminara alive and imprisoned rather than simply killing all of them, Filoni noted that Sidious enjoyed a manageable level of chaos when Jedi could serve a greater purpose alive than dead. For Filoni, it wasn't far-fetched to think that some Jedi were so influenced by the Clone War that they would attempt to stay alive even if it meant allying with the Dark Side or Dark Side practitioners. Then, seemingly out of nowhere, Filoni notes that Barriss was a good example of this, and emphasizes that she was right about everything regarding the Republic and Jedi, and despite her conviction, wasn't killed evidently. Both this interview and the Celebration Anaheim panel show that Filoni had no intention of Barriss being killed following the Season 5 finale. There was more of her story yet to be told as her arc wasn't finished yet. Given how interesting the character is as one of the only Jedi to step back and look at the war for what it was, the Jedi becoming an army fighting for the dark side, this isn't too surprising. But the real insight that Filoni provided on just how far reaching Barriss' words were at the end of Season 5 came immediately after the Season 2 finale of Star Wars Rebels. Filoni revealed that while Barriss' actions were crucial to the story of Ahsoka, they also had a real impact on a Jedi Temple Guard present during the Padawan speech, one who would eventually fall to the dark side to become the Grand Inquisitor. It was the words of Barriss that planted a seed in the mind of the future Grand Inquisitor that the Republic and Jedi had become corrupt, and the order he was part of was the true villain in the war. The speech delivered by Barriss within the courtroom was the beginning of the Temple Guard's descent to the dark side. The announcement of 12 new episodes of The Clone Wars gives Filoni the opportunity to bring all of these threads together and fulfill his plan for Barriss. Given his statements over the past few years, I believe we could see an amazing conclusion to Barriss' arc within The Clone Wars. A truly amazing scene would be one where we see an imprisoned Barriss just prior to Order 66 awaiting execution for her actions in the temple bombing. However, before the temple is raided and the Jedi Purge begins, the Temple Guard, who's begun his descent into becoming the Grand Inquisitor, unlocks her cell and allows her to flee the temple. A simple scene like this could work given that we know that Filoni always intended to have the final episodes depict events during and after Order 66. But it would also work with Filoni's vision that Barriss survives and allows further stories to be told with such a unique and interesting character. Given that Barriss has been viewed as being right, not just by Filoni, but also by Ahsoka within the current canon, we could see future stories with both of these characters, which Filoni has not completely dismissed when asked about it in a post-Clone Wars series. Either way, Barriss definitely deserves to have an ending to her arc in the TV series, and given her influence on major events with Ahsoka and the Grand Inquisitor, the final 12 episodes have the potential to give the character an amazing ending. So there we have it, the potential Barisafi ending that could be seen in Season 7 of The Clone Wars. 
We love making these videos, so why not subscribe for more fun Star Wars theories and discussions. Also, if you enjoyed the video, think about giving a like or leaving a comment. Or perhaps follow us on Twitter, at SW Reading Club, for updates regarding the channel. Or support the channel through Patreon, for access to exclusive hangouts and book discussions. If not for me... For not learning how to properly venture anger.